I do believe in destiny. I think things happen for a reason. As you say, you can do that retrospective mm. thing when mm. it suits you. Yeah. Um, but there are lots of things I never in a million years thought I'd be living and working in London and that all sort of happened without there being any planning. Mm. Things happen and suddenly I find myself here. Even in relationships, I think destiny can play a big part. Yeah. Um, I met Frank completely by surprise. He wasn't supposed to be, when we met the Pride of Britain, and I think probably everybody knows that now, but he wasn't supposed to be there that night. I wasn't supposed to be there that night. We randomly kind of arrived. I arrived late. He happened to be at a table with people that I knew. I mean, it, just little yeah. things that you think, that's, that's just but, odd. But people have come up to you specifically, I remember you telling me and saying that people have randomly stopped you and said, I can feel there's an aura about you. You know, I know, right, don't, don't get scared. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it happened twice in separate occasions when we were in New York and I had two people who claimed to be psychics, I don't know who they were, but they came up to me in the street and said, look, I am psychic and I... I have a feeling that you are and you just don't know that you are. Mm. And it happened twice separately with two different people, which I thought, well, that's total, weird. Total I'm waiting for the third. Total strangers. They didn't know you. Completely, in, in, randomly in the street. I'm walking down the street and they said, there's an aura about you. I don't you, know if that's a good you, or a bad you, thing. You, you, you like it, told us some stories. I have, before, you know, you? I have, honestly. I, the, I, I, I did say one story on, on the show once about when I had this complete and utter premonition about the scaffolding oh. falling down. Yeah, you we were Frank. And I you? shoved Frank out of the way yeah. and it happened right in front of us and I knew, I knew it was going to happen. It's one of those really awful moments where you think, yeah. that's, that's, that's going to happen, it really is. It fell right in the road, a bus had to swerve around, it stopped, the driver got out to check we were all okay. It was, it was this weird moment. So like, he jokes with me about that ever since, as you can imagine, but I have had odd dreams. I had one dream once, and this is, this is a very strange one, um, about 9-11 and I, really, I dreamt about a plane crashing. And I'll not go into the details because it was detailed, but I woke up after it in such a state and I told my mum. Yeah, I remember you telling us. And then um, I was in work um, on the day it happened and it all came up on the news and I thought, I saw that. I saw, exactly I saw what you'd oh, seen in the dream. Um, I, I was sort of in the plane within this dream. I wasn't a person, but I knew there was chaos, let's just say. And I could see straight ahead through the cockpit and it was open and I could see us going into a building. I could see hundreds and hundreds of windows. And this was days before? Days before. Now, don't get me wrong. But, the, I, uh, but you definitely told your mum before yeah. it happened. Yeah, yes, absolutely. So you can't, yes. you can't write that off as no, being you no, kidding some, yourself. Look, I'm a very common sense person. I would like you all to think that I am at least. <laughs> Um, and I'm very willing to, for someone to say, well, you clearly watched something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm happy to, to make a, you know, someone to explain dismiss, it. Yeah. Don't yeah, get me yeah. wrong, I'm not claiming anything at all. In fact, and I'm sure there was maybe something that sparked it. The timing of it is unusual, let's Incredible. just put it that way. Um, but it was, it, it shook me up for, for days it, afterwards it, because wow. obviously it was on the news constantly and I thought, oh, it just... Yeah, yeah, shiver yeah. type moment. Wow, but that is yeah, spooky. odd. odd you got, isn't have it? you got one of those shivery yeah. moments? Not a shivery moment, but I um, met my husband. Well, I used to babysit for him, so I knew him quite well. And um, we lived in the area. And just one day, me and Lauren was in the park, and we were playing. And he just stopped in the car and come over and started chatting to us. And um, then we ended up going on a date. Uh, oh. So that was like our destiny because we then got married and we've been together like 27 years, very happily married. Oh. Um, <laughs> You probably don't do that park walk every single day. No, I don't. And, you know, so all those little things those all days. come together, yeah, yeah. don't they? Well, we asked all of you today, um, we did a poll, of course, asking if you believed in destiny. 73% of you say yes, yeah. mm. which I think is quite interesting. Um, Sandra says, yes, I believe in destiny, but I also believe we can shape it and help it along, which I kind of yes. I agree with that. I get yeah. that. It's not written in stone. You know, quantum physicists say that we are all in one, we think, we think we're in one timeline, but there are a million different timelines lines going on as we speak now we're all it, it, we're all in a different timelines all over the place apparently this is accepted physics and it's not surprising then that some of those timelines might bump into each other at times or overlap at times and maybe physics will one day explain what we're all feeling mm. well manda oh. says here she's we've gone deep she's we've gone deep <laughs> <laughs> manda says destiny yes but not astrology yeah, yeah I agree. uh huh yes there we go do we destiny yeah? Yeah, yeah i'm getting a lot of nods okay good please don't think i'm mad okay <laughs> <laughs> they're all looking at you really weird. i know just don't dream about anything i know <laughs> I'll not tell you anyway. <laughs>